Anything in the trash can? It's a trash can. Wow, you're really good at this. Good job, detective. Doing detective stuff. Very detective of you, Detective Anderson. Very, very detective-like. Yes, yes, very detective-like. Hey, everybody, go crazy, and we're back to more rain swept, where we're a cancer-working uh, detective trying to solve this case of abuse with this guy who supposedly killed his girlfriend, and, I mean, as I saw, he just murdered, not murdered, he just uh, committed suicide after that. Anyways, what you doing? Yes, detective? Um, I don't want to go back to the hotel. Uh, anyways, we're in... We're just looking around town right now after a hard, uh, hard fall into the pool of blood that he decided to do. Oh, 4 p.m. All right. Oh, I like that. Cool. All right. So, just got to take a quick whiz right here. Mm. Oh, if I press down, he shakes. Why does he shake when I press down? What's up with that? Can I run through town? No running allowed in town. Don't run. I'll get a ticket. Mmm, cherry pie. You should come here for breakfast someday. The owner, Mark, is a pretty gay guy. You mean me? I'm a great guy! You talking about me? My name's Mark. I'm a great guy. <laughs> this must be Mark. I sure am! <laughs> he must literally be talking out loud because they're replying to him. <laughs> You're just like me. <laughs> You're just like me, Mr. Anderson. Hey, detective, have a seat. On my- no, I meant on my lap, detective. Have a seat on my lap, detective. Have a seat on my lap. <laughs> Do you want some tea? Coffee? My cafe is extremely cozy ward. No, that's alright, I- Cool over here if you want a paint. I want a pin. Okay. Keep your unhealthy habits to yourself, Alan. Alan. What, are you smoking like me? Too much coffee is unhealthy, too. Well, too much smoking- Smoking can kill you. I mean- I don't understand why smoking's allowed, and then weed is, like, not okay, um, by the way, no, I don't have weed, I, I don't, I don't ever want to try weed, but I think it's, as I know, it's much better than actually smoking just cigarettes, so, yeah. Also, if you haven't noticed, he's already smoking a cigarette. Yeah, you're smoking too, ignore him, he just likes to annoy me, and then I let it get to me. Who is that? Uh, that's Alan, he, owner of the bar next door, and my brother. Twin brother. <laughs> Guys don't look alike. I guess because as he, he shaved his head. Took a lawnmower and just... <laughs> took off half his scalp. Not that you know, by the way, we lead, we lead our lives. I don't know uh, how we ended up as polar opposite. Hey, I'm like, uh, hang on just a moment. Alright, I just had to make sure... Uh, I'm like that with uh, my sibling. We're complete opposites. <laughs> Absolutely opposite. I know, I got all the good stuff. Got all the good stuff, bro. Ugh. How long have you lived in Pineview? How, um, alright, is this gonna have, like, are we doing this? Like, is this getting, like, more information on the, like, murder or whatnot? I was born here, my family lived here many years. I have a little city, but, uh, okay, so. Um. That's. Now it's just me, my books, and my coffee shop. And your annoying brother next door, apparently. Life is simple, and I love it. Now, uh, always come come with you at the same time? No, Alan, he only joined me here five years back. He had a bit of trouble in his old life and wanted a fresh start. Yes, talk about your brother behind your back. Even if it's good, I don't like it when people talk about me, about me behind their back. Maybe he can tell you more about that. Uh, yeah, let's ask about this. Do you see them often? Do you see Chris and Diane often? No, no, barely. A handful of times, maybe. He came in the cafe a couple times, but that was in the early days when they first moved in. I think I'm just gonna start asking about the, uh, Chris and Diane, because I really... All this other information is not... If it's not gonna help for the investigation, why would I ask it? They would, uh, say... They wouldn't say much to me or anyone else here, mostly kept to themselves. Or, I couldn't say they didn't have eyes for anyone else. To put it bluntly, they looked very much in love. Huh. So I guess behind closed door, it was like an abusive relationship. But then, like out in public? That's weird. Because everyone said they were like really quiet and stuff. Like, they didn't, I guess, well, they just didn't get out a lot. Is there anything else that you can tell me about them? Anything that stands out? Well, I kind of identified with Chris in a way. It sounds like he moved here from, from the peace of mind this place provides. And start a small business for himself. What business? Okay, so they're talking about the, like, fair or whatever they're having, which it kind of sounds like a job fair now, because it's talking about the business and stuff. So he wanted to start a small business. Maybe saw, someone saw him, 
like trying to get in their way and they killed him or he could ended up committing suicide because of that I don't know I'm jumping to conclusions here maybe I don't know he's been trying to get a hotel project off the ground here from what I hear he had trouble getting the project approved maybe father Smith can uh, tell us more about it get on your knees and pray Father Smith is coming in today. Um, he's moving. He's involved in the planning committee. I don't know what the fuck that was just about. Um, where were you last night? Okay, can you tell me where you were last night? Sure. As always, I closed my place at 8 p.m. I brought, uh, bought some supplies from the general store down the street and then went home. I assume the store ke keeper will remember that? Yes, Miss Brown was in late, uh, last night at that time. She should be able to confirm what I said. And Alan, can he confirm this? He didn't come to work yesterday. Took a day off. Sadie was feeling a while, so he stayed at home today. Looks like that passed, luckily. He looks fine today. Anyways, I went back uh, home after that change and went for a jog as usual. Uh, came back, took a nice long warm bath. Okay, so all this stuff. Then read a book for an hour. Was probably asleep by 10.30. Okay, so that's way before... Uh, notice anything unusual the past last days? Anything out of the morning? Hmm, no, I can't say. Everything's been pretty much the same as usual. Does Alan also live with you? No. <laughs> no, but he lives close by. He lives close by so he can annoy me more. He not only annoys me at my shop, but he annoys me next door at his own shop at me. <laughs> God, I'm just smoking it up. I don't let up, do I? Hey, man, what's up? Hey, my little cancer buddy. What's up, detective? Hi, Alan. Officer Blunt, uh, where were you last night? Alan, where were you say you were last night? As I'm sure Mark have, must have told you already, I was at home. I wasn't feeling well, so I stayed home and said. Is there anyone to confirm this apart from Mark? I don't know. Since I didn't leave home, no one saw me, you know? Uh, wasn't your pub open last night, Alan? I'd, I'd hope it was. I left, I'd, uh, left, uh, left... Lenny in charge. Wow, I can't talk. He uh, helps me out sometimes. Lenny, can we talk to him? I'm afraid not. He's been out of Pine uh, View for a couple of days. She'll be back in a day or two. Let us know when he's back. We like to ask him some questions. We'll do, officer. Alright, so you know about these two people? No, not at all. I'm the kind of person who minds his own business. I don't go interfering with people's affairs in their lives. What do you mean? I just don't go wasting my time getting to know people. There's no need for it. I kind of feel him in some way, sometimes with some people, um, I'm just like, sometimes you just get a feeling from them, you're like, uh, or like, if you try to talk to them or you look at them, sometimes you just think, uh, maybe they're not worth the time, <laughs> I don't know, I'm horrible, I'm, I'm just a shut-in person, I'm not, as much as it seems, I'm not an extrovert, I'm an introvert, I'm a person, I, I'm really an introvert, like, I like going to the woods, like, deep in the woods alone, I like, I like being alone, that's just me, if I could for the rest of the life, I think I, I just like to be left alone in the woods, so I can feel this guy a bit, to me it looked like they prefer to mind their own business as well, so no, I don't know them at all. Mark did me a big favor, giving me half of his cafe to start my business and end to annoy you and <laughs> annoy Mark in case he's not too pleased with the business I choose to run, though. Heh, <laughs> he's a good guy. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Alright, well, that's about it with that. Hey, old dude, did you kill them? I bet you murdered them. That's Grandpa, owner of Grandpa Bakery. Is he your grandfather? No. Oh, no, he isn't. His name is Grandpa, then? It's just Grandpa. I don't know actually okay then <laughs> well let's talk to him jeez <laughs> uh hello um grandpa i'm not your grandpa <laughs> immediately flish flick and swish <laughs> hermione would say flick and swish and then gaudi olivios am i saying it right hermione please don't don't flick and swish me that's grandma and your name is grandpa <laughs> my name's grandpa Mr. Grandpa, I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. I was wondering if I could ask Miss Brown there out on a date, but wondering isn't doing it, is it? Just look at her. Oh boy, make me feel 40 years younger, she does. <laughs> Ooh, he's, he got his eye on that sweet girl over there. Damn. Hmm, do you ever plan to grow up, Grandpa? Any more growing up and I might just die. I ain't planning on doing that before I ask you out. Goodness, unbelievable behavior. Such immaturity. <laughs> she likes me. I know she likes me. You're deluding. 
Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah, you go, Grandpa. <laughs> He's funny. Anyways, you had some questions, Yum Yum. I thought I did. Uh, do you know about these people? When they first moved in, Chris would often come in the evening and buy some things from me. He come in daily, almost looked pretty cheerful too. Then a couple months after that, he stopped coming. The last few times he came, I could see that something wasn't right. Maybe trouble with his missus. I don't know. He and Diane went to church maybe a handful of times. I guess they were trying to like work it out. I don't know. Once or twice they came over after, here after for a coffee and donuts. They were quite a couple, I tell you. He was the quiet and nonchalant one. She was, she an exciting electrifying energy. And then suddenly she was just crying like every night and, um, I don't know. I guess the yelling and screaming. Classic case of opposites attracting each other. Yeah. If what people say is true, I don't know how things went so wrong so fast. But then, with these things, you can never say. This was all about four through five months back. After that, I hardly even saw them out here again. Uh, where were you last night, you killer? Oh, he got his way. <laughs> where do you think I was? In the hospital? Were you in the hospital? Because <laughs> you broke your back? Are you making fun of me because I'm old? Yes. You'll be in the hospital when I'm done with you. <laughs> I was at home sleeping, you fool. Can you confirm this? No, no one can. I live alone. All right, I don't need to know how long you lived there. Um, notice anything unusual today? Uh, hmm. Now that I think about it, I've actually might have. Yes. Miss Brown been trying, tying her hair in a much tighter bun lately. I wonder what that means. Is she softening up? I'm trying to hide that fax. I don't know. Oh, Grandpa, you notice these things. I mean it when I say it. Beautiful. I'm a passionate lover. <laughs> Very passionate. Damn it, Grandpa. <laughs> Hello, I was talking about the possible murders. Did you notice anything unusual leading up to that? Oh, not much that I can say. Can't say I didn't. Besides, her, they just stopped coming to the shop and everything. I guess everything got worse. Also, that miss that sticks and Miss Brown, she makes every day exciting. <laughs> Please, God, give me the strength. <laughs> Oh, look how she flirts. Absolutely, Grandpa. Absolutely. Um, I don't think I need to know the other thing. What are you calling Grandpa? Eh, I'm not your Grandpa. <laughs> That's one name, uh, one way to name a bakery. He may be kind of creepy at times, but he sure knows how to bake well. I may be old, but I know. But I'm not completely deaf, you know. Sorry, Grandpa. I'm not your Grandpa. <laughs> oh, shit. These donuts sure do look good. What do you mean they look good? They're the best in Pineview. The best damn donuts made with Grandpa's love and warmth. I'm... I'm a little questionable. Grandpa, what love and warmth are you talking about? Maybe later. What do you... What did you call me? <laughs> Called you Grandpa again. Grandpa! I bet he has plenty of warmth and love for, uh... Miss Brown here. Hello, ma'am. Don't mind me and my cancer, cancer blowing shit. Hmm, well, who is this? Ah, you're a detective, aren't you? Come to ask me about the murders. Something troubles you, boy. What is it? What do you mean? I know a trouble so when I see one, detective. Yeah, I'm seeing some crazy ladies, uh, in the middle of the road. Uh, but I understand you don't have time for such questions. Uh, now, what is it? Can you tell me about them? Um, ah, uh, those two. Doom from the start. What do you say that? I told you. I told you, I know a troubled soul when I see one. And those two, I've seen it so many times over the years. One can always tell. Others will tell you that they were very much in love, but something wasn't right. I always felt that. But then when things really, really didn't, did start going on, everyone heard about it. Um, where were you last night? I went to bed at around 9 p.m., Johnny. Couple, couple probably confirmed that he was at home too. Well, we'll talk later. I don't see the reason to ask those other questions, because it's like, it's not going to help with the murder and whatnot. So what's the point in asking? Oh, where are we going? Oh, this is nice. I like this. This is fucking nice. Let's run in the fields. <laughs> <coughs> Go in the church, confess my sins, and then continue doing the sins. Hey, Father. Father, I've been a bad girl. This must be Father Smith. Father Smith. Ah, oh, hello, Detective Anderson. Detective Anderson, first time in the Pine View, I assume. Yes, uh, only just arrived. I want it. That is good. That is good. And what do you think of it? 
Do you like it here? Uh, it's beautiful. My view is really beautiful. Yeah, I like it. It's really nice. Uh, is it now? Uh, well, you're here. You must enjoy the views, breath in the fresh air, take a walk in the woods. Are we on an island, by the way? I was just gonna ask. But then you must uh, want to preserve the beauty, too. Yes, leave here without taking away anything from us. This is a way of life here, and I do my best to maintain that for the good of my people. The ones that uh, are here on more than just a merry whim, I see. Anyways, detective, you had questions about about these two, about Chris and Diane. Do you know them well? Not too well. They came to church a couple couple of times after they moved in Pineview, but then stopped coming to the church. Uh, they withdrew themselves from the rest of the community, and I can't say that helped them. Friend, friends can help in difficult times, and it's obviously they were beginning to have really difficult times by the end. If they continue to come to church, I could have offered some guidance. Uh, sometimes relationships can entangle you. But unfortunately, it had to come to this. Whether, Whatever their troubles, it looks like they made each other suffer for it. I'm sure you'll learn that what most of us here already know. In any case, I wish you luck with the investigation. Where were you last night, Pastor? Um, I was here all night. I finished up some work. I went to bed by 10 p.m., I'd say. Yeah, that's me. Can you- Oh, yeah, the hotel project. Eric Chris was, uh, trying to start a hotel project. That's right. He was trying to start that, and he got killed- He killed himself before the- He killed himself before, you know, the festival started. As you're a part of Pineview Planning Committee, uh, can you tell me uh, anything about that exactly? Sure, Chris wanted to open a hotel here within- With about 20 rooms or so. That's not a lie, but I guess it's a small town, so he said he wanted to keep it small in accordance with uh, our bylaws, but even 20 was also pushing it. Oh, so I guess he couldn't make more rooms. These things always grow out of hand. Once the tourists started coming in, they'd see how untouched a place Fine View really is. The man would increase, and of course, Chris wouldn't uh, want to pass up an opportunity to cash in on that. Regardless, we never got to that point. Chris always kept messing up his papers whenever he came in for approval. He'd either misplaced them or mess up some of the details. There were delays in the construction site, too. I guess delay costs some money, too. It costs a lot of money to start a business. Don't you usually take a loan from a bank? And, you know, you gotta pay all that back, too. That's, you know, kudos to anyone who starts their business and actually, you know, goes through with it. Uh, I mean, I'm a freelance artist, so it's kind of like... Whenever I get a call and, um, you know, thank God I have a roof over my head and I actually do have, you know, a job <laughs> to at least get get some money in. Um, but, yeah, uh, it was all going downhill fast and, well, then this happened. All right, well, we'll talk later, Father Smith. I'm sure we will. Hopefully I don't catch you touching any kids up. Sadly, that's too true. Hotel rooms. They all feel the same, don't they? Reminds me of better times. What's that? This is the way to the bathroom. Let's take a big shit. Hmm, I don't really need to go right now. Should I go anyways? Yeah, use it. It's best. Better go before I sleep. I don't want to get up in the middle of the night. I wish I could do that. It doesn't matter if I go to the bathroom beforehand. I still have to take a whiz at like 3 a.m. in the morning. That is so fucking annoying. Uh, ah, that feels so good. I hate going to the bathroom. I wish I was a robot so I wouldn't have to go to the bathroom. It's a light switch. Put your hand in it. That's better. Now let's turn it on. Arg, my eyes! The light, the light! Pine View's a beautiful place. Painfully beautiful. So fucking painfully. And his eyes start bleeding, and he gets on the ground, and he starts doing a little disco dance. It's too cold to go outside now. Maybe later. Alright. Hmm. Looks comfy. Alright, well, I don't want to get in a bad light. Run! Run! Run, Mr. Anderson, run! Alright. All right, let's get in the bed. Let's get in the bed. Hmm, should I go to sleep now? Yeah, there's nothing else to do. I really need to get some sleep today. Oh man, if I can only get some sleep. You keep small. God. What the hell happened back there today? I don't know, but you keep fucking smoking, God. I, you know what, with people who smoke, you can smell it. For, like, at least I can. Maybe my ears have kind of gone to shit. Uh, I used to have really good hearing, but it's kind of a little, a little bit gone to shit. But I can still smell very good, and I know when people smoke. I can smell them far away before they even get near me. I can smell the whiff of it, and 
It's really bad. I can't stand people who smoke. I'm not saying you're bad. You're not a bad person or anything. I just can't. My It hurts my nose. I can't stand the smell. After all these days. God damn. God darn dang it. No, Mark. There's no peace of mind here. The silence, it only lets your thoughts get louder. I like the silence. I don't hear, have to hear people bitching. I don't like that. Ooh, it's very ketchup in here. Am I having a crazy dream? Hello? Am I dreaming? Yeah, I believe you are. And I'm hearing some weird <laughs> noises in the background. I don't know what they are. This is a horrible dream. No, it's not. There's ketchup everywhere. It's a great one. Let's jump down here. Oh, God, no. Okay. Hello? No, I don't want to see this. I don't want to remember this. I need to get out. Where am I now? I need to wake up. I need to wake up. Wake up. Wake, 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 wake up. What the? Am I awake? I, I can't move. Oh. What's this called when you're in bed? You're like you're awake, but your body, you can't move your body? This is horrifying. What's going on? Yeah, and then like, I want, this once happened to me, and... Apparently this is like when you can't move your body, but you're like awake You can sometimes see like they're not really there, but they're like black figures or whatever. I I saw I saw this once, but um, Let's try to move your arms. I always try to move my arms first Let's try my legs my head This is hopeless. I can't wait. What's that? What what the hell? Is that your wife your dead wife your daughter? I don't know who it is. Holy shit uh, Ab Abigail is that you? Michael, why did you did this to me? Why? How could you? I really don't like those boxes. It wasn't my fault. I. What happened, Abigail? It was an accident. Think again, Michael. You did it. Oh, I have no. Uh, you're right. It was my fault, Michael. How can you live after doing something like that? You have no idea how hard it is to go on without you. You. Then why go on? What's the point? What's the point of dying if I'm not gonna go anywhere? God, what's the point? I don't know. I have to. Because it's instinctual. It's instinctual, like, even if there's no goal inside, humans still go on. And we fuck up the planet. We're probably gonna end up destroying it. It's gonna be all of our fault. For your happiness, do you feel you deserve that anymore? For this case, do you think anyone even cares about it? From who, Michael? To protect yourself from the thoughts about me? You need to hide me from yourself so that you can live? Is it worth it? I, no, I'm not sure. I miss you, Michael. Also, who is the guy on the shelf? Who's the creeper creeping in on that? Ooh. Okay. Tuesday, 6.55 a.m. October 8, 1996. 1996. Alright, well... I miss the mountains. I miss the pink mountains. Those were cool. I really like those. Well, we're back at the crime scene here. Uh, leaves falling down, you know, all that wondrous gay stuff that I love. So, what are we looking for? Anything that tells us about Chris and Diane. Nobody in this town seems to know much about them. Maybe their room can tell us something. Oh, on it, detective. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna end up doing all the work. Moisturizer, body butter, make up items. Damn, they were kinky, I guess. Hello, that's me. You're looking better today, detective. I am? Relatively. Did you sleep well last night? Not a wink. Uh, maybe you should see a doctor. Oh no, it's nothing. I'll be fine. What's this? There's a diary here. It's empty. Damn it. Bunch of travel magazines. Look like they had a subscription. Okay. Couple of fiction books. What's this? The Dreamer's Guide to the World. Looks like a self-improvement book about travel. Interesting. There's a handwritten note on the first page. To Diane, never give up on your dreams. Love, Chris. 10th January, 1996. Must have been Diane's bedside. Oh, I want to look at the picture. Photograph of Chris and Diane. Okay. Also, that's a pretty big picture. That's a nice painting. Feels like I have seen it somewhere. Alright, there's the bed. That's a bed. It's still unmade. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna lay down in there. Who knows what's in there? It's locked. The key could be here somewhere. Detective, check this out. There's some in I didn't catch what you said. Some interesting stuff. Photo of Chris, Dan, and some guy. Do you recognize the third guy, Officer Blunt? Don't think I've ever seen him. 
Must be a former out guy from out town. Anything in the trash can? It's a trash can. Wow, you're really good at this. Good job, detective. Doing detective stuff. Very detective of you, Detective Anderson. Very, very detective-like. Yes, yes, very detective-like. Sorry, I can't help it, so I'm not... <laughs> yeah, I do the same shit. Financially calculations. Looked like they were planning for something big, or at least one of them was. I'm not good at that shit. I would... <sighs> like, just, like, making events, doing shit. Like, even if I was just to have, like, my own, um... I, I don't think I'll ever have a panel. That would be awesome. But, um... Like, having, like, having my own, like art set up in like an artist alley like I would need someone to help me set that shit up cuz I don't know how to do that more do it yourself chemistry and tablet books and a couple of novels uh, let's see what we have here a list of locations Madagascar and Antarctica Ukraine a question mark question mark below his list is the different handwriting it says have the world away it's underlined twice there's a shopping list some phone numbers picture of animals the ocean I think they're pictures, pictures of Madagascar. I guess they really wanted to travel or go places, quite possibly. I mean, who doesn't want to travel? Even if you're an introvert, it's, um... Like, even me as an introvert, I at least want to get out there and see the world. I've already seen most of the world, you know. At least before I go and someone else replaces me, I would like to see something, you know. Um, woodworking products to do. Bookcase for a living room, custom chair for Diane, so... This guy seems to be, he makes a lot of projects and he tries to make a lot of plans. Uh, so... I'm guessing Chris was into woodworking. Yeah, he, wow, oh, what's this? Talk about issues. Convey passionately. Aw, no sacrifices. Talk about it and what, what needs work. So he really tried. So analyze everything. Annoying. Code is happening. Shut up. Give space. Which one of these do you think wrote these? I think Chris wrote it. Chris looks like he was organized type to making lists of everything. That woodworking one definitely is his, and the handwriting is the same. Yeah, it makes sense. A mug, a boombox, nothing of interest here. Oh, those are some nice tapes. Nice tapes, man! Can I talk to you? What should I do? We're looking for a key, aren't we? It could be under the bed or behind something. Alright. Okay. No key here. All right. All right. I don't need the. I don't need that. Maybe the key's in here. God, if I can only get to it. No, I don't need that. No, no, I don't need. No. Okay. I wish I could get out. Of, I can't. I don't know how to get out of the section. Can I not? Okay. Apparently, I can't leave this room. Guess I'm not gonna leave. Yeah, I'm trying to look for the key. Um... So where's the key and stuff? I don't know where it is. Maybe it's behind the big painting up here? Oh, okay, got the key! It was behind the painting! Great! How do you keep it behind there without it, you know, like... Um... What's going on? Most of them seem to be from Diane to Chris. Oh wow, that's a lot of hearts. Let's see if we can find anything useful among these. So I'll be writing these to keep in touch while we can't meet. I don't... How, but I'm glad that you changed my mind. Look at life in a different way. We're really dumb together, but I kind of love that. Oh wait, this one looks different. There's a severe lack of... There's a severe lack of hearts in this one. Kind of... Kind of. It's from Chris to... Brad? Looks like you forgot to send it, or decide not to. Hey Brad, sorry for disappearing on you last week during your party. See, after I walked out... Brad, who was Brad again? Did we even meet Brad? I don't even know. Oh, okay, so we're going back to the party. Alright, this is December. Christmas! I can't believe you said that. I know, everyone was staring at me. Wish I'd been there. Oh, hang on. I think Emily's calling me. That's alright. Go on. I'll hang around outside. Or go around and socialize. Meet new people. Make new friends. This is me you're, you're talking to, remember? All these years together and you still can't read my sarcasm. Anyways, good luck, buddy. I'll see you in a bit. See ya, Brad. Alright, so now we're Chris. Alright, now to get away from humans for a while. Yeah, I feel ya. I feel ya, Chris. 
Excuse me, sorry, coming through. Now nah, I'm just gonna go back. <laughs> Can I go upstairs? No? Okay. Well, I'm going this way. I am just like, I'm like, I wanna go outside. I don't wanna be near, like, people. It's nice to be on your own, cause you get yourself, people, they just don't fucking get you. <laughs> No matter how hard you try to open up, just forget it. It's really a waste of time. Trust yourself. That's just from an introvert to another introvert if you are, but... Oh, hello. I didn't know there was anyone else out here. Oh, I... Holy shit. I, uh, I'll be heading back inside. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it because of me? No, I just don't like people that much? Yeah. I don't like people. Yeah, you're right. I don't. It's not that I hate people. Yeah, it's just that... The more I get to know them, the less I can't... Yeah. Oh, damn it, Brain. You made me look like an out- No. That's really how the thing- That's funny. Hell yes. Whew. There's a lot of more people inside than outside. So how'd you just staying out here? She asked me to stay? I- Sounds like it. It's easier to get lost in the crown, actually. But you got a point. Um. I don't know. I guess it's a beautiful evening. Uh, beautiful evening. Isn't it beautiful? Well, yeah, there's, uh... Yeah, I like the lamps. Look at those lamps. They look pretty good. Lamps? Okay, that's a weird thing to notice. They're co they're cool! I don't get why that's beautiful at all. I don't really like the stars. Like, they're really, like, pixely and blur. I just don't like them. Damn it. Abort the weird topics and talk like a normal... No! I like talking about this stuff! Uh... Who do you know here? I guess that's a normal question. Why can't... Why can't you just look? Look, I got a tiny hat. I look at the tiny details. I'm a tiny person, you know? So, uh, who are you here with? You come for? Um, oh, I'm here alone. I came here to meet Emily. I share a couple classes with her. Oh, cool. Brad's an old friend of mine. Emily's boyfriend? He's a really cool dude. Uh, what do you do? So, tell me about you. What do you do? I, I don't know. I just graduated last year. I studied chemistry for some reason. I don't know. I don't even like chemistry. Anyways, I'm planning to appear for exams so that I can study aboard. But I need to do really well to get a scholarship and, you know what, forget about it. No, you were saying something about moving aboard. Any specific univer university that you're aiming for? I'm going to be real honest here. These type of conversations are really boring. Like, I hate talking about work. I hate talking about, like, if I go to school, where I go to school. Like, it's just really boring subject to me. I'd rather talk to the person about something... I like rather than I don't even like talking about my life I'm like it's really boring why don't we just talk about shit that's actually interesting cuz it's like I know you're not gonna remember anything I said about this. oh my god is that just me is that just me no nah, it's just that I'm not really a attached to anything you know, I'm just moved I just I want to get as far away from this place this country even and what do you expect to find when you get there I guess I'll find that I'm somewhere else. That would be a good start. Feel you, girl. My name's Dan, by the way. I'm Chris. Oh, so this is how they met. Emily got herself a great place out here. Can't wait to have a place of my own. I'd probably start smaller. Something a little less modern. But still, it's quite beautiful, right? That's beautiful, too? Yeah, I guess it's right. Just all right. I think it's fantastic. I like how they throw their arms up. <laughs> I guess so. Ah, you know what? I really don't understand your way of looking at things. But we, we understand throwing our arms over the air <laughs> sarcastically. Ah, don't worry. I've heard of that one a lot of times. I mean, I don't see why what's so particularly special about lanterns. They're cool. What the fuck? They're just normal lamps. So what? <laughs> I just like the small detail stuff. Jeez. Well, yeah, totally. I get what you mean. I mean, you're normal. No one's normal. It's just, I'm sort of weird when it comes to these things. What things? Normal is for people who just want to fit in. Uh, I don't want to fit in, so screw that. I just want to be myself, and people don't like me or find me weird. They can go screw themselves. <laughs> I'll keep being me, okay? I kind of see the beauty in everything. Every, Even the ordinary. Yeah, especially the ordinary. Yeah. Oh, God, did that say really... No, it sounded great. You should be an artist or something. Yeah, I am an artist. Are you an artist? Yeah! Uh, what do you do? Do you write about how everything is so beautiful? Hey, come on. Now you're just making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. What do you do? It's kind of a long story, but I guess you can say I'm a businessman. Uh, businessman. You're just a freelance business guy, pretty much. I wouldn't have guessed that from the way you talk. Yeah, well, there's a reason and a story for how that happened. Maybe another time. Oh, another time? 
and we're not doing anything else. Oh wow, we're kind of a complete opposites that way, aren't we? What do you mean? For instance, I don't really see beauty in much. Ah! Hell, I don't even think I know, understand art at all. I'm not really about art, it's more about appreciating life. Oh, I definitely don't do that. Well, really? That's uncomfortable. Now, how can I change your mind about that? What? Why do you need to change my mind? I'm fine the way I... Plus, you'd think I'd change it in a day. Oh, I know. That should be pretty cool. Dan, what's the time? It's about 11.45 p.m. Why? Alright, come with me. There's something really cool I want to show you. What? No! I don't even know what it is. Hey, is it, uh... Is that, uh... That special red wrench? Huh? Way we'll back in 20 minutes. Come on! It's only minutes... Minutes walk away from here. This is stupid. Fine. Just run away with you. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's all, like, blurry, like, I don't know, like, some of the design in here. I'm just really knit. Like, I like how the woods are and stuff. Like, all that's fine, but the stars and everything else. I have this set to the highest, by the way, but, um, like, with the cities and stuff, I felt like it could have been done a little bit better. Just me. Whenever I want high-quality shit, I use Illustrator. <laughs> Adobe Illustrator. You guys know that? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I guess it looks nice. Oh, Jesus. I don't get what's so special, though. It's just buildings. I mean, they're not, just my opinion, they're not really, uh, drawn that well. I thought of people just living life. It's a cool view. Let's just say that. I think it's a freaking cool view. What, a valley and a city in the background? As a dreary as my life is, I've seen better. I mean, I won't lie about it. I've seen better. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep shitting. Oh my god. Look, I like how the story's going so far. I like how the game's going far. It feels a little... I hope it picks up the pace a little, because I do want it to go... It's like, because I actually want to get back to the case and stuff. Like, what's the point of going to the back scene of this when we're not even going to be able to use it for, you know, the evidence of the case? You know, I wish... If they're going to do this, I wish they would have uh, shown, like, a video of them, like, doing this stuff or... Like recording or you know something like that or because I remember back when I was really young you know I didn't have YouTube I didn't have all this shit so um, I literally like made my own videos I had, like this really shitty like camera I used but it was so much fun to use I actually made a uh, like claymations and stuff and I don't even know I don't I can't even find those videos anymore but it'd be so cool if I did find them I definitely upload it and show you guys they're so funny <laughs> I like them and I showed some people and they really liked it too but, uh, if I were you, I'd probably be freaking out looking at sunsets from my window every morning. I do hate it when the sun shines in, because I just want to sleep. Ah ha ha, what? I was kidding. This isn't what I got you here for. But it's about to get pretty cool right about now. What? Don't you dare. It's 12 a.m. Look! Are they going to be shooting stars or something? What is it? Oh, they're letting the lamps go. That's so cool. Okay, I do like that. Just the city, like... You need to work on the art of the city and the sky, like... Mm, it just, I don't... just don't like that. But the rest of the stuff, it's good. It's just city in the sky. <laughs> Happy New Year! Another year, we're so much closer to death. Thank you, please, God, take me. Kill me. Okay, that... I'll give you that one. Yeah. Sorry, I um... Don't, not sorry, I'm itching my back. Uh, cause I'm really itchy from my sunburn. It's like, thank you for playing the Rain, Rain Sweet demo. Um, your feedback is extremely valuable to making the finished game a great experience. You now be directed to a really tiny feedback form. Please take- Okay, so just wants me to, like, fill out this form and everything, I guess. Oh, and it's bringing me in here. <laughs> so I'll definitely give my opinion on that. Anyways, y'all, uh, let me just go back to this screen, cause I'm gonna do that stuff after I'm done with this. But anyways, you all, um, I kind of gave my thoughts throughout the game, what I thought of it so far. Um, I'm not really sure what you guys think of it. Maybe you want to go through, play it yourself. Um, sometimes if you try the game yourself, you can get your own personal experience. Maybe you'll find things I didn't find. And, you know, you can just simply give your own feedback and just tell me what you think of it. But, um... Anyways, if you do want to play this game yourself, this is an updated demo uh, that they, they had an older one, but they this is an updated demo one that they have. So you guys want to try that? It is down in the script down below, along with their Kickstarter. Um, so definitely check that stuff out. It's not too bad. I feel like 
just some of the art and some of the um, stuff, especially the dialogue boxes, I just, just totally changed those. I don't like the big square boxes. It's just, to me, it's just like a copy and paste, like slap it on there. I'm just being really blunt here. This is me personally. I just personally wouldn't design the game like that. Um, but yeah, I already gave all my thoughts on that, and I'll, I guess I'll give more of my thoughts on this form here that they have. As you all, I do a charity once a month, so you want to donate to that, share it around, or just simply give me a suggestion. I'd be more than happy to do that. That is also down in the description down below. Anyways, I really got to end this video. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Here's the hobby out bad day, anything like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.